Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and wanted to give you guys an update on the Ozark Mountain Open 2023, which is going to be on November 4th and 5th, and also just a reminder that it's coming up, so please uh, get yourself signed up. So, first off, um, my original plan when I was um, planning the format for the Ozark Mountain Open this year was I wanted to ex <coughs> extend it to a two-day event. Because my long-term goal is I would like the Ozark Mountain Open to become like a, a, a premier event. Maybe even perhaps a regional event that does like the Lone Star Open or Las Vegas Open. So, building that out. So, I wanted to try a two-day <coughs> event um, where we have four rounds on Saturday. Then a top eight cut. And then the top eight play three rounds on Sunday. And then we find out the winner. And, <coughs> however... I wanted to also make sure that that was okay by AMG and still make the world's invite valid. So I emailed them and asked them, and I got a response back. That's what I've been waiting on before I made this video. And uh, they are okay with that format. So I got official approval to run the Ozark Mountain Open the way I want to, basically. So uh, we're on. So the format has not changed. It is still going to be four rounds on Saturday. <clears throat> and then a top eight cut, and then three rounds on Sunday. And this is on the line for the top prize from AMG, World's Invite. Um, in order for this to be valid, though, we have to start with 16 players. I'd like to have more players. You know, I'd like to have, you know, a good size number of players. Um, but we need at least 16 to start the tournament and playing. And then... Uh, I am allowed to do the cut and then do the top eight on Sunday. So, um, let's go through some specifics. And I'm going to be putting some links here. They're also in the description, so please utilize those as well. But <clears throat> just going to go over everything that's going to be going on for the tournament. So first, let's talk about schedule. Um, for the tournament itself, Saturday... Registration starts at 9 a.m. at Gear Gaming Fateville location. And uh, you can just type that into Google, but the address is also on my Facebook event page. I'll even pop it up here. <clears throat> but Gear Gaming Fateville. And so 9 a.m. registration. <clears throat> and then 10 a.m. is when we will do round one. 12.30 will be round two. We're going to have lunch after round two. So we're going to do two rounds, lunch, then two rounds. And um, it'll be a 45-minute lunch, which I'll be providing. So it's part of your $40 entrance fee, which we'll get to how you can pay me later. But I'll be including lunch on Saturday. And then rounds three and four will be in the evening. And then at 8.30, I'll announce the results in the top eight cut. <clears throat> then Sunday, it'll be the same times, um, 9 o'clock for registration. Basically just getting checked, everybody checked in or whatever. And 10 a.m. round one start. We might start earlier if everyone's there earlier for the top eight. And also around 10 a.m.-ish is when I'll start the um, casual tournament, the day two casual tournament for those that want to stick around. And now at the end of this video, I'll go over the details of the what the casual tournament is. I'm going to do kind of like my own little home rule rules on like a sector fleet style. Um, but I'll get into that at the end of this video. So, at 6 o'clock then, the plan is on Sunday to have the awards ceremony overall. Um, I also am wanting to do a meetup Friday night, for people that might be interested, just to hang out Friday evening. Um, on a, It's called Dixon Street. It's basically just a line of like bars and restaurants down near um, the Walton Art Center, which is uh, the main theater in Northwest Arkansas. And also the University of Arkansas. It's like where a lot of college kids go. It's a fun, fun place to hang out. So uh, it's going to be informal, casual. It's not going to be like any one place. You might just like, you know, go to one place, then another place. But we'll see. It's like whatever people uh, want to do, what they're up to. So that's the schedule, though. So just want to make sure everybody knows. Registration starts at 9 o'clock, November 4th, Saturday morning. And dice are rolling at 10. That's going to be a hard start because we're doing four rounds... And for those that you know that when you do four rounds in a day, it's a long day and we need to get them going. We need, we need to be on time and keep moving. So please keep that in mind. Now, how do you register? 
Well, one thing that I, I'm probably going to do for next year is try to work on, I hate doing it, but work on creating an actual official web page for either my channel and or the Ozark Mount Open. Because, like, I don't have any official tickets. It's not like, you know, uh, Lone Star or Las Vegas Open where you go on and you buy a ticket and that's how you pay for it. Um, it's still kind of informal in that way. Um, so, how I want you guys to register that will help me is if you could please do it on T4. Um, link will be posted here and also in the description. Or you can just search for it. It's uh, Ozark Mountain Open 2023 Store Championship Day 1. <laughs> just talk it, type in Ozark Mountain Open 2023. Um, so far in T4, I've got eight players. Although I, I know there's going to be more than eight players coming because on my own personal Excel sheet that I'm looking at, <laughs> of people that have told me that they're interested in probably coming, we have 17 players potentially, um, but not confirmed. So uh, if, if you're planning on coming, I ask that you please sign up on T4. I'm going to use that as my official... Um, basically registration list to know who's coming and how many players we're going to have. And so, T4, but you can also email me at maildownsize at gmail.com um, or, you, you know, uh, I wouldn't use the Facebook page. You know, that does help too, but I think I need to consolidate. So either email me and or please sign up on T4. That really needs to be the official place, T4. Because that's also where I'm going to be doing the rounds and the matchups and the pairings, etc. Um, as far as paying me for it, you can either pay me day of in cash. Um, or you can uh, pay me via my PayPal. So, I ask that, uh, you know, you don't have to pay me ahead of time. But it will be helpful to pay me ahead of time. So that, because, you know, one thing I do need to pay for is getting all the materials for lunch that I'll be providing. So... PayPal again. I'll have that popping up here about right now. And also, my PayPal is in the description of all of my videos. So you can send me PayPal for that. Or again, you can just pay me in cash day of. So again, just re-emphasize, please register on T4. That'll help me know. I'm going to count that as the official list of who's coming. Um, so I know how many people to plan for for buying materials for lunch. And to make sure we have enough tables set up at gear. Or the amount of players we're gonna have and speaking of that um, for those that are able um, especially because I know people that might be traveling it might it'll be difficult but if you are able if you could bring a mat or or maybe a couple I don't need everybody to um, I've got five um, so that I can handle five tables um, and like you know Buster and Rob I think can bring a couple um, but I just want to make sure if we go to like our upper limit, which is going to be like the mid lower 20s, um, we'll need some more mats for to make sure we have enough for everybody for the game. Which, by the way, speaking of, if you're interested, and again, I'm using T4 as uh, my official tracker now. A soft limit is 20 players. Um, but we can probably go up to 24, maybe 26. It just has to do with the space at gear. We could probably get up to maybe 26 players um, if we get that high. I don't think we will. I'll, I'll, I'll be ecstatic if we get that high. But um, So please sign up so that if we start getting to the upper limit, I can then make an announcement that we're getting close to we're having to cut off signups. But as far as uh, we still got plenty of space, plenty of slots open. Hope to see people there. And I would love it if we got over 20. That would be amazing. All right. So those are some of the logistics. Please go to the links. You know, T4. Please go to T4 and register. Um, please um, either PayPal me or plan to have the $40 on when you register on Saturday morning. And um, make, remember, 9 o'clock in the morning Saturday is registration. And we are starting round one at 10 o'clock sharp. So I realized I forgot one important thing when it comes to rules. Um, just want to remind everyone that the new errata and FAQ is going to be what's utilized for the Ozark Mountain Open. Those are now in effect. Um, so when it comes to the points changes like for Ramadi, Kirsta, um, the Onagers, etc. And for the massive wording changes for a couple Rapid Reinforcement 2 
cards and as well as their point changes. Please make sure you're familiar with those. I don't want anybody to be surprised showing up. And I will be looking very closely at everybody's fleet submission to make sure that the points are right and to make sure that you have the right cards. So if you have questions about what those are, one, go to AMG. They have the new errata and FAQs are there. Make sure you are familiar with them or check out my video that I posted a few days back. I'm kind of going over those changes. So I just want to reiterate those. We're going to be using the new errata. The new FAQs, those are now the official cards. So make sure that you're familiar with them, familiar with the points, and that uh, you're not using the old rules. So I don't want anyone to be surprised showing up Saturday and then having a bad day because their fleet's invalid or they have to make changes. So please make sure you're familiar with the new rules and the new fleet point changes. So want didn't want to forget that. <clears throat> All right, so now let's talk about prizes. You already know the big one. We got a store kit. Store kit. Provided to us by uh, Gear Gaming. And uh, this is going to be top prize from AMG. It's a store invite. And just a reminder again, we need a um, 16 players to start for this to be valid. <coughs> it comes with an, uh, an alt art of the Executor 2 Superstar Destroyer on the back. It's pretty cool. And then there's a lot of other um, <coughs> alt art cards that are in the store kit. So the top 32 and top 16 players will get Engineering Captain and Flight Commander. Top 8 players, um, I believe how you split this out. I haven't looked at it through that detail, but top 8 players, you got Alea, Luminara, General Grievous, and Grand Admiral Thrawn, Alt-Art. You've got top 4, we'll get a Sintra Fell, Alt-Art. And then top 2 players will get uh, an Alt-Art of the uh, Venator 2 Star Destroyer for the Imperials and a Republic Victory 1. I'm um, double-sided. But, those aren't the only prizes we're going to have. We've got Garrett Vance and Admiral Tater has been very generous to provide lots of awesome prizes. I don't have pictures yet. He's still making them, but I'm going to just let you guys know what the prizes are. So, everyone that participates is going to get a set of uh, shield dials. Um, his awesome shield dials and the ones with like the notches that are much easier to turn now. Um, so really looking forward to those, but everyone will get those, uh, no matter how you place. Then we are going to have <coughs> top eight are going to get a set of Ozark Mountain open magnetic ship tokens. So the ID tokens that you can put on the, the stands. Um, you'll get a set of those for the top eight. Top four are going to get nine squadron tokens with the Ozark Mountain open logo on them, which is a fantastic deal. Then the top two are going to get a white, pearl, and black turn and victory token dial. Um, I, I think it's going to be the square one. I can't remember if it's going to be the square one or the triangle one, but once I have a picture, I'll show it. But those really awesome turn and victory token dials that Tater makes. And then for first place is going to be his new token tray that he's made with an Ozark Mountain open lid for the topper. Um, it's the token tray where you can do the tokens around the side, and then it's like storage in the middle. A really awesome um, piece of uh, add-on equipment for Armada. Um, I need to get myself one. I want one of those now. <coughs> and then we're going to be doing a um, simple ruler set. Um, a basic ruler set with the Ozark Mountain logo on it. That's going to be for the best new player. Um, and uh, that'll kind of be more of a... You know, I I probably need to come up with a more specific framework to set how to deter determine that, but it's going to be a new player, someone who's new to Armada, not a veteran. <laughs> to all of um, you, you know, all veterans, uh, th that will be off the table, but it's going to be whoever is the best new player, um, new to the game, new to the tournament scene, and the best performer out of those selection of players. Because we are going to have new players. At least I know around here locally we have quite a few new new players here in northwest arkansas so i encourage new players to show up you might actually win a, a ruler set um even if you don't make the cut it's just a matter of uh, who's the best new player will get that ruler set <clears throat> and then for the day two casual tournament i'm it's going to be a team's tournament so that's why this um uh is set up this way um each player on the winning team will get a double-sided white pearl ozark mountain open ruler so it'll have the distances on one side and ranges on the other. Um, kind of like, you know, the 
the way FFG used to do their rulers for tournaments, uh, prizes, it's going to be like that. So the winning team will each get one of those rulers. And it's possible we might have some more prizes. You know, I'm trying to line up some more things for alternate, um, like, you know, for random giveaways, etc. during the tournament. Um, we'll see what's available. So I'm looking on lining up some more prizes. But those are the main ones, some really awesome tater prizes. And then, of course, the one that I know a lot of players are up for is the World Championship Invite. So please sign up. Make sure we get at least 16 players. I'd love to have more than 20. I'd love to get over 20. And start building this um, yearly tournament into a premier level event. Who knows? Maybe next year we might be able to do a regional event and make it a regional kit. But first, we got to grow to twenty <laughs> and and start building that up. So, all right. So we've talked about the schedule on how to sign up. We've talked about the prizes. So let me talk about now um, the day two casual tournament. This will be for anyone that wants to stick around for day two. If you don't make the cut and you want to play, it's just going to be a casual fun two-round tournament, and it's going to be a sort of sector fleet. So, if you're interested in that, it's going to be make a 300-point fleet with a commander, and then what I'm going to do, and, you know, we I might let you guys pick your own teams if, it, if this goes over badly, but I think it would be fun to do random pairings and then do a teams match, a teams tournament. So, for example... You know, I, I make a fleet, you know, maybe with Thrawn, and then somebody else makes a fleet, you know, with Tarkin of the Republic. And then, randomly, you guys are now on the team, and you guys are now... We're going to do a sector fleet style against another randomly assigned team. Um, I think that could, you know, I think that can make things interesting. It can, um, it'll be... Let you maybe get to know someone you don't know, and, you know, try to get your tactics to work out together. Um, could be some interesting combinations... And part of this, why I'm calling it like sort of like a jank sector fleet, not only from the random pairings, but also I'm just going to make this ruling just to make things more fun and potentially chaotic, is that friendly commanders, so that both teams' commanders affect everybody's ships on the friendly side equally. Um, so, for example, again, Thrawn, when he reveals his dial, both players on the same team, all their ships can get that dial now. So... But uh, I'll, I'll have, like, a little, like, a tip sheet or cheat sheet printed out for everybody to, to look at it for, like, some of my my jank rules for that just to make things fun. Um, but the core concept, so just keep that in mind, is have a 300-point fleet made, and then for everyone that is there, um, and I'll have one made as well just in case there's an odd number of people just so everybody can have a chance to play on, sun on Sunday that wants to. Um... And it's going to be a random pairings, teams matchup. Um, two players versus two players. And we're going to do two rounds of that. And then uh, the winning team will get those uh, Admiral Tater, the Admiral Tater ruler, double-sided ruler. So I think that'll be fun. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, it's completely optional. It's going to be completely casual. And a little bit longer play time. I might do like a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour play time. Because um, it shouldn't actually take that much longer because uh, it's... Only 600 points total and two players um, moving things around, but we'll see. I might extend the time longer. But y'all will be playing while the top eight are battling it out for the top prizes. So, anyway, and that's included with the price um, as well. No extra cost for that. Uh, do keep in mind that Sunday you'll be responsible for your own lunch. There's a couple places around here. Um, um, Whole Hog actually is just down the out of walking distance down from gear, which is a great barbecue place. So... I might recommend that. Maybe we could all go down there Sunday for lunch. All right. So, um, this recap. Please sign up on T4. Please, please, please sign up T4 if you're planning on coming. So I know how many people are coming, and especially so I know how much food to buy for Saturday's lunch. Please make sure you have uh, your money ready when you register Saturday or pay me in advance via PayPal. And um, got the awesome prizes. We need remember we need at least sixteen um, to start Saturday for the world's invite to be valid. And uh, um, have a three hundred point fleet ready if you want, are interested in playing in the casual random team tournament on Sunday. And then 
Now for communications and updates, this is where I, you know, I blast this information out all over the place, but I need a consistent place for people to, for me to communicate with people that are attending. So I'm going to put a link here. It's going to be in the description below. Um, there's a Discord channel that, you know, on the Armada TTS Discord for the Ozark Mountain Open. It's for tournaments in general, and then there's a sub-channel for the Ozark Mountain Open. That is where you're going to see communication updates from me. So please go there and sign up. It's completely free. You just have to get the Discord app, um, and I think most people have it. Go to Discord. Um, uh, the link Again, the link's down there. I'll be posting it here right next to my head. And that's where I'm going to be posting updates, quick updates, like especially for, like, for the meetup Friday night or if there's any like last-minute adjustments that need to happen. So please go to that and check that for updates. That's where I'm going to be doing the majority of my updates. Just to have a consistent, consolidated place to communicate so I don't have to try to give updates on five different platforms. So help me out, and please go to that Discord and uh, go to that specific Ozark Mountain Open sub-channel. All right. So I think I've talked for long enough. I think y'all get the gist. I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be a great event this year. And I hope to see a lot of people. I'd love to get to 20. Let's get to 20 players and start building this into a premier level event. And who knows what we might be able to accomplish for next year. But November 4th and 5th, hope to see y'all there. And until next time, take it easy.